Hello friends, Shane Jensen, Nations Evangelism Ministries. Last night I was praying and the Lord really impressed upon me this word. I just got done reading Acts chapter 16 and I know many of you probably know about that story about Paul and Silas. Remember when they were put in the jail in, in Philippi and how they were beaten with many stripes. They were set in the inner prison. Their feet were put in stocks. And at midnight, the Bible says they were singing and praising God and all the prisoners heard them. And the Bible says that there's a great earthquake and that all the prison doors were opened, their chains fell off. You remember the story of the Philippian jailer, he came in to Paul and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? He was saved in his whole household. I was thinking about that story and the Lord really began to start impressing to me about at midnight, at midnight. What were they doing at midnight? They were praising the Lord. They were singing and worshiping God. And the Bible says, and suddenly, you know, when it says suddenly, I always think about Acts chapter 2 when it says, and suddenly there was a sound from heaven as the sound of a rushing mighty wind. It was unexpectedly. And then suddenly there was an earthquake. It just all of a sudden, it wasn't expected. I believe that's the way the rapture is going to be. It's going to be suddenly. Now, I believe that we are at midnight. Now, if you read about at midnight, there's a lot of things the scripture says at midnight. Remember, uh, the Bible talks about the bridegroom that's coming for his bride. Remember the parable of the ten virgins? It says at midnight there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. I believe Jesus is coming very, very soon. And he's coming back for a people that hath made themselves ready. And with this story... I find it very interesting. They were singing and praising and worshiping God, even in the midst of their affliction, in the midst of their hurts, pains. Their bodies were split open, probably infected. I mean, they had all the mental anguish. They thought maybe their lives might be taken, maybe the next day, but yet they still chose to praise God. They didn't feel like it, but they chose to praise God. You see, that's what real faith is. That's what real worship is. And that's what God's looking for, that kind of ingredient of faith, that kind of element of faith that the Bible says in Luke 18, when he comes to the earth, will he find the kind of faith that the widow woman had that kept coming back to the unjust judge? She wouldn't give up. And unfortunately, many people are giving up. Many people that used to walk with God today are backslid. They're living off past accomplishments, what they did before, who they were before. And today, unfortunately, many people have drifted so far away I preached at a church not too long ago, actually it was last Sunday, and the church didn't respond at all. You know, the message was for people to break up the fallow ground, to examine themselves, investigate their hearts, make sure they're right with God, because we need to see revival. We need to see God move, and we have to have revival ourselves. We have to get a hold of God ourselves before we can ever have a corporate revival. There has to be that hunger and thirst, and nobody was affected. Nobody uh, wanted to go to the altar and pray. When we worshipped, well, you can't even call it that. We didn't even worship. It was like a sing-along for two songs. But you see, that's, that's what I'm trying to say to you today is, is faith is worshipping. Faith is still praising God. The Bible says in Psalm 84, they will still be praising thee that dwell in thy house. You're still going to be worshiping because you have a heart full of thanksgiving and worship no matter your circumstance, just like Paul and Silas. That's the kind of faith that God's looking for. That's the kind of determination that he expects. And he's coming back for a people just like that. And so I want to encourage you today. We're at midnight. We're at a desperate time. We're at uncertain times. I know I've heard that saying many times, but it's true. He's coming soon. And he's coming back for a people that have examined themselves, investigated themselves, and said, Lord, search me, know me. If I've done anything wrong, convict me. He will. And you walk in all the truth, walk in all the life, and be ready. Be ready at all times. That you can always have praise. I tell you, a good sign of someone walking with God is that you have thankfulness and praise to God at all times. Not just in the good times, but in the bad times. You don't feel like praising God, but you choose to praise God. You see, that's what faith is. And that's what God's looking for. So I pray today that, you know, you'll be a, a worshiper. Worship God in spirit and truth. Praise Him. And I guarantee He will make you free. You may not be, you may still be in chains, but they were more free than every man in that prison, even though they were in that 
inner prison with those stocks on their feet. And when they were free, then that Philippian jailer realized that he wasn't free. And he needed to know the Lord and then his invisible chains, they fell off. And now he was a free man. I pray that was encouraging to you. I pray that you walk with the Lord close. He's coming soon. Thank you so much for watching.